It has a lot of people talking about what you should do if you ever find yourself in that kind of a situation. It can all happen so fast. And troubleshooter Joe Pakanakis is live tonight with a look at the steps that could save your life. Joe? Danita, you are looking at high water along the Cuyahoga River here in Valley View. If your car is swept away by water like this and it's sinking, rescue experts say you need to evacuate your vehicle as quickly as possible. Pictures from the nationally recognized Mentor Fire Department Water Rescue Dive Team. It's their annual training exercise. A car totally submerged, much like 51-year-old Lisa Roswell's vehicle. Team experts say removing your seatbelt and trying to open a car door are the first steps towards a successful escape. To get the locks undone, if you could also think about getting the, uh, the windows down, roll the windows down while you still have electrical power and ideally get out of the vehicle as, as soon as possible. And here's why these newer cars are a lot more susceptible to high water. Simply because they're front wheel drive, they do not have a drive shaft that runs to the back. That means the floorboard is a lot flatter. It's a lot easier for water to catch this flat floorboard and send the car floating away. If your car is submerged and you can't get the doors open or the windows down, you'll have to break out a side window with a pointed heavy object. Auto expert Nick Brunner says having a hammer on board can be a lifesaver. Now what you want to do is get the ball peen hammer, hit it right in the corner of the glass. And it breaks the glass out so that you can evacuate the car. If you escape and are on top of your car, but it's still sinking, you'll have to enter the water. Mentor dive team members say target something you can grab onto. What you want to do is you go feet down the river and you want to swim with the current off to the side and grab a tree, climb up on the branch. So let's review this. Take off your seatbelt. Try to open a door and escape. If you can't open the door, roll down the windows before power is cut. If you can't open windows, break the side window glass, not the windshield. That's laminated. It won't shatter. Use a pointed heavy object. Attack the edge of the glass. Get on top of the car if you can. Then if you have to enter the water, enter feet first with the current. Swim to trees or something you can grab onto until help arrives. Some key advice from the experts, Danita. Good information for all of us to know, Joe. Now, during this time of year in the winter, you know the water is extremely cold. So how long can a person last underwater? Well, the Mentor Dive Team says that a swimmer of, of decent quality can last about 10 minutes in water of this temperature. Uh, but that's why it's so important that you need to find something to grab onto until help arrives. Advice none of us hope we'll ever have to use. On your side, reporting live from Valley View, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis. All right, thank you.